I'm doing better now. It's 3.30. 3.30 p.m. and I have been so dead. Yesterday, my friend Trisha got married. We went to her wedding. Yeah, I felt dead all day. Literally so useless. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna accomplish today. I did buy a new entryway table, so maybe I'll put that together. So this is the final product. This is the Dina console table that I got from Yisk. And these three baskets here are meant to be for this console table, but I'm thinking about returning them. I really like the look of them. However, this one here is not fitting well into either of these cubbies. So I don't know if I'm going to be returning all of them um, and just getting a different type of basket. There's another type of basket that's supposed to fit perfectly in these little slots um, or exchange this one for another one. I'm not totally sure yet. That's why the tags are still on there. So I am ready to decorate the tree. The tree is all up. I already tested the lights. I plugged it in. I highly recommend doing that before you start putting up your tree and putting decorations on. Why are they dirty? Why are your toes dirty? Do you need a bath? Do you need a bath? No. I think you do. Ooh, 
Look how cute the Christmas tree looks! I am not an expert on Christmas decorating, but I think this looks pretty good. Um, I experimented with these um, ribbons this year. I don't know about it. I feel like I need to redo them or just eliminate it from the tree entirely. It looks a whole lot prettier when it's plugged in. Maybe I'll plug it in. One second. There you go. I went for a different color scheme this year. In the past, I've gone with silver and gold, like solely silver or solely gold. But this year, I went with a little bit of white and a little bit of sparkle. I still have to unwrap these pillows. These pillows are also from HomeSense. Yeah, our living room is pretty darn messy right now. We've got Lincoln snacks. These random books and photo albums, like Lincoln just pulls off of the shelf, even though he's not even reading them. Like, are you reading Mitch album, Lincoln? I wanted to show you guys this book. I've had it for a really long time. It's called Hugs, Daily Inspirations for Women. They have daily passages in here, so whatever the date is, you just turn to that page and then read what they have written. And for today, um, today's November 22nd, it just talks about the brief history of Rosa Parks, who she was. It says, if you've been thinking you can't make changes in your world, think again, because obviously Rosa Parks did, so anybody can. And I was just reading the one from yesterday too, and it talks about counting your blessings instead of your misfortunes and I am all about this now don't get me wrong I do complain I am a big complainer but at the end of the day see what I have I have Lincoln I have Chris I have my family we have a roof over our head so pretty cheesy but it is true that is one of my biggest pet peeves like wipe it I'm gonna go pick up my nephews. They don't have school today, so they're gonna come over for a couple hours and just hang out with Lincoln. Chris, did you leave toothpaste in the sink? Yeah, did you? That was you! That was so you! Oh, damn, it is really, really cold outside. I don't even know the temperature. I'm just letting the car warm up a little bit before I go in. I don't know if you can really see that, but I got like really bad acne going on over here. And I think it's because last weekend, last weekend was my friend's wedding. And woo, when we got home, I didn't take off my makeup. And I think it was from then. I really do. I guess my skin is really sensitive in that way, so I am breaking out over here. I'm gonna put some treatment on it when I get home later, um, and hopefully it'll go away. I did want to go to Dollarama and maybe Superstore today, but with all the shit that's been happening around certain parts of the city, I don't feel comfortable bringing Lincoln out by ourselves anymore, which is really upsetting. We'll probably do something tomorrow when Chris is with us. Okay, I think it's pretty warm. Jeez, what is up with the camera? <laughs> you could just see my nostrils. That's the only thing that you can see. Oh yeah, so I'm in my regular car now. I gave back the rental. If you watched my last video, it was a vlog. And I talked to you guys about my rental and how it was a Yukon, which was freaking enormous. It wasn't even a Yukon. It was a Yukon XL. So it was really large. Parking anywhere was a headache. I'm back working at my regular these boys watch my vlog so let's see if they're comfortable in being in the vlog today <laughs> they're so excited <laughs> hi. hi you guys can do you need to open the trunk or no I'm vlogging today hi, hi buddy hi hi, hi. hi. what do you guys have Taquitos and soup. That sounds good. I mean, do you need help with your seatbelt? Who no help in there? Or do you need me to go out there or go back there and help you? No, I got him. Okay. So, what's new, you guys? Oh yeah, did you guys hear about uh, the blue bombers? No. no. What? Uh, they're very tough this year. Thank you.
Opening this can with the key. I got the keys. I got the keys. Keys, keys. keys. Doop, doop, doop. Can say I love <laughs> and yes, are kind of tidied up around the house. I wanted to show you guys the current setup of our home right now in regards to the Christmas decorations. This is our main level of the house. We're in the kitchen right now, and this is the centerpiece to the kitchen table. This platter I actually made last year, and it's literally a pizza pan. I got this pizza pan for a dollar, actually maybe less than a dollar at Dollar Tree, and I painted it white, and I did have some leftover rope laying around, so I just wrapped it and hot glued it down to the pizza pan. This here is supposed to be a Christmas tree ornament, but I removed the the string and I'm just leaving it as is on the platter these random pine cones I got in a huge pack from Dollarama this glass bottle with ornaments inside it's lit up right now I got that from Dollarama last year oh there's Lincoln hi Link hi Link what's wrong <laughs> So this glass bottle I got from Dollarama, I think it was $3 at the time. I got these stems from Michaels and Dollarama, these um, champagne colored ones. Those ones are from Dollarama and these ones are from Michaels. These ornaments um, are just strategically stacked on top of another. I positioned the pine cone and the house in a way that you can't see the top of these Christmas ornaments. Normally I keep it on our counter but the sun is slowly still coming up so where it was um, it would have been too dark to show. I got these mugs from Walmart. Mini mason jar that I had laying around and I just spray painted it white and I scratched it up a bit so it has a little bit of a vintagey look to it and I just put some random pine cones inside and on the top I just have another snowflake another one of those houses um, this sign here joy to the world I got this from Walmart and behind is just a set of sparkly um, Christmas trees again this bookshelf I've had for a long time even when I was living at my parents house I had this bookshelf and I just took it with me this house I recently got from HomeSense um, it does light up I just didn't turn it on this cloche is supposed to light up too but I don't have batteries those lights I've had for a while too and I just plugged it in that gorgeous sparkly Christmas tree I got from Walmart I am kind of sad that it's hiding in the back. I feel like it should be shown off a bit more, so maybe I'll move it around. I'm not too sure yet. And if you're looking a little bit above the bookshelf, this is where I chose to hang our Christmas stockings this year. So this garland I just wrapped with some lights I got from Dollarama. I do want to buy some more garland to put along the entire banister, but I don't know. We'll see. Sorry, don't mind my mess there. All those things need to go upstairs. That middle one obviously is for Lincoln. 
that is new I think it was ten dollars ten dollars at Walmart but I didn't find one that I really really liked for myself I know Chris doesn't care what kind of stocking he has but I do care so I do want to get new ones soon I just haven't found the perfect ones yet so these old ones will have to do I still haven't returned these baskets yet I have to change this countdown to Christmas I think it's supposed to be 31 days now I'm just going to quickly light this up there you go and there's lights in here too so you're supposed to turn it there you go perfect so these lights are from dollarama these lights that are surrounding the sign and are on the table those i think i got from home sense i think i got it from home sense last year oh you know these actually aren't supposed to be here i still don't know if i'm going to be using these these are some mini stockings that i got last year when lincoln was just a baby because at the time he was learning how to stand learning how to walk so i couldn't put the full length stockings out where i wanted them because he would just pull them down so i got those mini ones these trees are from home sense this sign in the middle is from michael's and i just got that this year i think it's so freaking cute and it goes really really well with my setup here and i love that whenever we have guests this is the first thing that they see when they walk in and this i showed you guys i just put this together a few days ago and everything was from um, Dollarama. This crap is still here. We're still in the middle of renovating our basement and it's not quite time yet to put down the flooring so it's just chilling. It's just chilling here. This sheet that you see on the floor that has been on our floor for months now and it's just for when the contractors come in that they don't track dirt onto our floors and they can just go straight downstairs but it's such an eyesore. I hate it so much. I can't wait for them to be done so I could take this crap off you can see the shadow of our wreath i don't want to show you the wreath just yet because i need to adjust the hook it sat well with our fall wreath but when i put this winter wreath up it just looks so off so i have to adjust the hook So it's a bit later, we just finished watching Xavier and Noah, um, they had a judo tournament and it was so exciting. They, win the judo. they won, they now won. Say. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Proud uncle and aunt and cousin, they're here. Hiya. It's not that cold actually, I'm just wearing like a sweater and a leather jacket and a big scarf. It's not cold at it's all. Not cold at all. Um, I think the plan right now is to bring Lincoln to see my parents. Chris and I are gonna go shopping, and then we have a different party later on this evening. Wave hi! I just bothered him. We stopped by Oshkosh, or I don't even know what the heck is the name of the store. Is it Carter's or is it Oshkosh? We stopped by there because I need. Ew! What the heck? We stopped by there because I needed to do an exchange and we needed to pick up a present. I exchanged a set of pajamas for Lincoln because the size was just off. So I got him um, the set of pajamas. There's two sets in here and it's separate top and bottom. This print is so cute. The original thing that I returned, it was this exact print but a one piece. Lincoln is just better off in two pieces because I don't know. His size is really um, unique. I got him these pair of slippers. How cute is that? He has to slip his feet into their mouths. So cute. And what I chose for Chris's niece. How freaking cute. I swear girls are a whole lot more fun to shop for than boys. That's my personal opinion. And it comes with a pair of white corduroy pants. To add to it, I got this 
hoodie. Zip up hoodie, it's pink, it's fluffy. There's also some sparkle and glitter on it. And the best part is the hood. It's a freaking unicorn. <laughs> Disney Plus, so we're watching Hercules. This is Lincoln's first time watching Hercules, and we're gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Say bye.